Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Spy Family episode number 6 reaction. Alright, the previous episode, it was a very wholesome episode. Um, uh, okay, before that wholesome part started, there was a little bit of, uh, you know, like fear of what's going to happen. And uh, <clears throat> turns out, um, I forgot the guy's name, I think. It was, I don't remember his name, but the, the housemaster, the one with the monocle. Um, he, you know, like, <clears throat> let us know that uh, Anya's, uh, like, you know, Anya is in the waiting list almost, and or not almost, but at the top. And <clears throat> he, like, you know, she will definitely get in. And that's the, you know, the reassurance that he gave them. But unfortunately, it seems like he wouldn't be still kept as a housemaster because, you know, he punched the, the that guy. So that's a little bit sad. Mm, but I don't know, we'll see. Like, you know, he seems like a pretty major character to be suddenly, like, you know, forgotten. So maybe something will happen and he will retain his post. We'll have to wait for that. But anyways, um, the phone call came in and yeah, Anya has gotten in. And then Anya wanted a little uh, Lloyd man, <laughs> not Lloyd man, but Bond man recreation of, uh, like, you know, like, uh, Anya will be the princess while uh, Lloyd will be Lloyd man here and it's going to save her all that stuff and they kind of did that for them you know like the whole like you know the whole uh, spy organization was just like all right let's do this this is for the world <laughs> and they kind of recreated that whole thing and anya was very happy uh, the final session uh, a drunk your versus lloyd happened which was something i was not expecting and uh, that was cool um <laughs> that 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 portion was fantastic the animation and everything like yeah i can see like you know with studio and uh, mappa I think no, which student Clover works, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which student Clover works? Which it is which student Clover works, isn't it? Or am I making a mistake? I think it's which student Clover works. Yeah, both doing this like you know like ab ab together. I can I can see that you know like that that single section of animation was just so good. Um and uh, yeah, in the end we see Anya was like, all right, I'm going to do my best in this school, and uh, yeah, Lloyd was like you know happy and there was like fireworks. And yeah, that was cute. That was a really cute and wholesome episode. Let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number six of Spy Family. So yeah, I'll bring the subtitles on the time right here. Think it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> hmm. So, I'm guessing we're going to see Anya in school after this? Hmm. Okay. Because uh, in the opening, I think I've noticed, yeah, there's like a few characters who are children. So, these kids will probably be new characters that Anya is going to meet in Aiden school. So, yeah. Yeah, Cloverworks, there you go. For a moment, I, I kind of missed it up. So, we're still doing Cloverworks. There you go. Indian Academy uniform show. Oh, they're going to get a uniform, all right. <laughs> the way her cowlick. <laughs> all right, true. I don't think... Yeah, okay. That's a really cool uniform. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> great countryside. Oh my god. Wait, really? Oh my god. Wait, what? Is this a school? Like, they're talking about kidnapping and everything? Okay. Um, yeah, the, the okay, the tro- uh, Mom. I don't know what to say. Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, so I'm gonna get kidnapped. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Everything with four. Four. Oh wow, wait, what? <laughs> I, I, I didn't catch that. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Five days later? Wow. Oh, the uniform. <laughs> wait, what? All right, Anya. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she, he has to go. Oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, the, the code that he got to know. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Wait, that's a... Whoa! Okay, this is really cool. That was a cool, okay, hideout or whatever. Who the... What the... Why? Handler. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Additional bill. Wait, is this the same girl that we saw in the previous episode? The one who was... Yeah. All right. Social gathering. Mm hmm. But in grades six to nine. Okay. Imperial Scholars, that's a very fancy name. Deception to it. Oh! So Anya has to excel. Eight medals of men. Stella. Eight! Okay. Wow. Well, this is a very difficult operation. Foul means, oh. Oh, Donito. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah. But Anya can read minds, so. Ah. Uh, yep. Photo studio, oh no. 
<laughs> They're still here. Oh, they kick in. <laughs> yeah, everyone will be like, ah, oh, look at her. <laughs> Wait, uh, I think. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. What the? Who are these? What the? Oh no, they'll be like, oh, easy target, let's... Oh my god, these guys are gonna get the ass kicked. They are going to get... Oh no, kidnapping! Which is... <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Move! He's going to kick your... Oh my god. Wow, okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, get ready to pay some hospital bills. That's... That's your... Wow, these people are stupid. Your friend is... Your, your friend is dead almost and you're still continuing this. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? And now they understand. Wow. These people. <laughs> Train on Oh yeah, she wants to be um, you know. Yeah. Without dying. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Training. <laughs> All right. Hundred push-ups. Hundred sit-ups. Ten kilometer. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, we're here. What? Who is this? Two twenty eight students. Okay, these are the teachers. Oh, 
Okay. I'm not seeing that guy in the monocle. Is he really gone? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, the whole Stella. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> it is difficult. Oh no, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Oh, he already knows. Okay, inside. Okay. Oh, the same. Oh, this guy, uh, this kid. So. Donovan Desmond Damian. Yo, this kid. Okay, oh, wow. Plan B, okay. Friendship strategy. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. All right, there you go. Anya knows everything that she, she was thinking. So... She'd probably try to make friends with him. Oh no. Yeah, she, he, she will try to make friends with him. <laughs> Anya's like... <laughs> Just ignored <laughs> <laughs> Who? Wait, what? Damn. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's how he's. Oh my god, gorging. Yeah, I, I don't think so, but yeah. <laughs> What the hell is with all these kids? <laughs> okay, he's here. Thank you. He probably pulled some... I was going to say he probably... Oh my god, that guy is still here. Oh, okay. Okay, thank god he's the homeroom teacher. <laughs> Okay. Damn, her range is pretty... <laughs> her range is pretty huge. <laughs> Alright. Ah, first class. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are his lackeys. Okay. Yo, his hairstyle. <laughs> oh no
Hmm. Ya. Yeah. Uh. Crappy assets? Ugly? You haven't seen your face? Wow, okay. Yes, yeah, slap! Oh, oh no, you cannot do that. You, you're going to get expelled otherwise. Oh god. Oh no. Cool lady. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Yo, what's with the smile? <laughs> <laughs> and she can hear all their, oh my god, thoughts. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to get the, the Torinto. What was it called? Torin. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. All right. Yo, her face is still... Uh... Oh my god, what the hell? Oh! Oh! She first looked if that teacher is watching or not. There's no proof. <laughs> yeah. That's not even proof. Oh no. Okay, there you go. That's nice. Oh. oh no, I think she... It, it, it was... Oh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Anya. <laughs> yeah, that's elegant. Oh my god. Yeah, he's not here, so... Hmm. Oh, that kid is here. Oh no, what happened? For <laughs> <No. laughs> violence three? Oh my god. One. Oh no. No. Uh, the parents are not here, so... <laughs> Yo, Sand B is going down the... Oh no, look at them! <laughs> Yours! 
covering her face. Eight months to be expelled, seven months to relationship, and damn it, minus 100. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that punch, you know. I did say before that, well, you know, like, she should slap him. But then I realized that, oh, okay, you cannot even slap people here because... <laughs> because they're going to get those negative markings or whatever. So... <laughs> But yeah, I, 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 I said slap him, not punch him. She literally punched him. Wow. <laughs> that part was... <laughs> that part was... Oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> that was it. Wow, that was that was wild. <laughs> ah. Okay, this ep <laughs> this episode. This was episode number um six, I think. Yeah. So wait, was this episode six? I think so. Let me check. Yeah, episode number six. Um. So we begin this episode with uh trying to get. Anya's uniform, which this this uh, uh, this uh, tailor uh, this lady who we where we met your before uh, that shop we go there again and she is going to make the uniform for her. That's why taking her measurements and all. So just talking about how oh like you know you people like you know you guys. Uh, uh, I'm going to go, your daughter is going to go to Eden. That's amazing. It's like one of the best places. This and that. But then she brings up the difficulties of studying in that place. You know, like the whole thing with, uh, like you know the uh, people, not people, but the students. Them like you know bullying other kids because. Uh, okay, here here it is. You must be careful. Eden is a long established school, so there's a bit of wall between the alumni and the non alumni. Um, and that seems to breed discrimination and bullying among the kids. You know what? I think this is the first time I've even heard a reason like this being the actual like, you know, reason for bullying. Like, alumni and non-alumni because of that? Like, that's how high the discrimination is? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And this is, yeah, like, what the hell? Okay, I did, I, I did kind of think about it before that maybe like, you know, there will be problems of bullying here, uh, you know, because obviously there will be pompous bratty kids over here uh, who has never been disciplined by their, like, you know, rich parents. So I was, I was pretty sure there would have been like, you know, bullying problems, but because of alum, being alumni and non-alumni, I, I was not expecting that, but I guess, yeah. And there you go. The, the the next part I kind of knew, I kind of anticipated that happening where she says there are also other problems like privileged students being arrogant. I expected this. Uh, discord between the borders and day students. This was something I was not expecting. The no border, uh, not borders. Sorry, borders. Okay, excuse me. Uh, the borders and the day students. This was also something I was not expecting. So. Speaking of day students, kidnapping seems to be a frequent occurrence. There you go. So I did expect, as I said, like, you know, bullying because brats will be brats. They, they'll, they'll definitely be like, you know, students who are like that, you know, they're going to bully others. But yeah, this seems a bit too far because like, you know, like the things that she was bringing up, like, you know, like, for example, borders and non-borders, a discrimination between them as well. I guess, you know, like, because the boarders will, like, you know, make their own little group or whatever, and they'll be better friends, while the people who are going to go back home, you know, they, they will have, they'll be kind of, 
won't be able to get into that group or whatever. So I, I guess I can envision that happening. But yeah, all these things. And <laughs> Ani was like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? And then she, she gets freaked out because of the whole kidnapping thing. And uh, they're outside and Ani was like, oh my God, I'm going to get kidnapped. <laughs> so they go to have a meal. Uh, oh my, I was not expecting that, you know, like, <laughs> They just say like sorted pork with papao sauce with porcini on the side. I'm like, why is everything with paw? <laughs> and then Lloyd is like, oh, that's the code. And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that came out of the blue. I was not expecting that. <laughs> In the sauce, it was written. The content, okay, that was funny. So yeah, Lloyd gets a new job. Uh, like, you know, she, he has to go. So... <clears throat> yeah now Anya gets his her uniform and uh, Lloyd is like all right I need to go to a, do a job so your you can can you please go with Anya and bring uh, like you know and bring the uniform and uh, okay that was kind of cool where your like you know uh, not your sorry Lloyd goes to like a what was that like a picture booth I think uh, yeah a picture booth uh, Lloyd goes there and puts the uh, coin in and it kind of opens a secret door he gets in and that, that was really cool like you know very spyish <laughs> and uh, okay we made a new character here is that a, okay now here's the thing this is the same girl that we saw in the previous episode uh the one who was with the main boss you no know? they do kind of look like you know kind of similar but I don't know, like, you know, I, I cannot really figure it out because she's wearing glasses and a hat. So I, I, I can't properly, like, you know, recognize her like, if she's the girl we saw in the previous episode. But anyways, okay, so what's her name? It's, just a sec. Did they mention her name? Okay, no, didn't, didn't mention her name. Lloyd called her Handler. So, alright, so I'm, I'm also going to call her Handler. So, Handler is like, what the hell? Like, you know, you, you're, <laughs> you're asking a bit too much budget. And uh, Lloyd is like, ah, oh, here you go. Some additional bill that needs to be paid. <laughs> and, uh, alright, so now the main, main mission, she kind of explains what Lloyd has to do and uh, you know what Anya needs to do so okay phase two social gathering so this guy Donovan Desmond he would not come unless and until uh, like you know the, the whole thing like the social gathering I think that's when he's only going to come up so uh, Handler talks about how to go there first of all uh, Eden Academy is a place where every person needs to be the best and the best and the brightest are comes from this elite school you know what I, I feel like this this whole this academy kind of reminds me of hogwarts in a way like you know harry potter you know especially with the group system and uh, you know the, the the dress that they wear the the, the <laughs> little cape thingy you know it kind of reminds me of that it's kind of cool mm, okay so she says that uh, you must be a parent of one of the imperial scholars to like, you know, to attend that, that, that gathering. To be selected as an honor student, a student must obtain eight medals of merit known as Stellas. So, yeah. Okay, in order, in other words, you need to, okay, all that stuff. Okay, penalty. The penalty here is, um, what's, what was it called? Um, Torin? Tonito, Tonito, okay. Uh, for poor grades and misbehavior now here's the thing you know like uh, this is the actual thing here it's actually really difficult to get those stellas but it'll be very easy to rake up those tonitos because as she says like you know poor grades and misbehavior will easily amount to these tonitos and as we saw in the end Anya was supposed to get three tonitos at the same time but you know the, the housemaster kind of you know, vouch for her, I guess. That's why she got only one. Now, this is the thing, you know, like bad behavior or like, you know, doing bad stuff is very much eye-catching, but the same is not 
like you know what can i say like it is not the same for getting good like you know like getting the stellars as well to get the stellars i think you need to do something really amazing which shows that people would not get much stellars but they can easily get donitos so like i think this is like the universal thing you know like people always remember you for the bad things you do like you like you know for your whole life you can do like you know all good things you know and then suddenly if you somehow misstep and do one bad thing the world is going to remember you for that one bad thing that you did no one's going to talk about all the good things that you have done throughout your life which is like a universal fact and this whole thing kind of reminds me of that because uh yeah i'm pretty sure getting these tailors will be difficult but getting those tornitos ah that'll be easy so <laughs> yeah anya really needs to um be very careful about this unfortunately she, she already got one tornado <laughs> but yeah i'm 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 pretty sure she can counteract that and do some good stuff and get those stellas so hopefully <laughs> i think so at least uh so yeah we'll have to see anyways that's the whole thing <laughs> when, when the handler was talking about this <laughs> um lloyd is like oh my god yeah yeah like i i have doubts how this is going to go <laughs> it's kind of funny to see how <laughs> lloyd <laughs> lloyd has <laughs> no trust <laughs> on anya at least in these type of situation he's like oh like we're screwed like nothing nothing could be done it's kind of funny to see and, and anya knows that herself like when she whenever she hears that she's like what the hell dad like this is how you think about me it's, it's really comedic oh my god anyways um so we get to your and um anya's you know, like that, that whole section Anya's trying out the dress and she's like you know kind of posing different ways and she's like uh like you know do I look cute and you're just like yeah yeah you look amazing so all right they go outside and Anya's having a great time like you know going to different people and it's like oh this is my outfit do you like it <laughs> and uh, yeah now here a thing uh, comes up where your sees all the different moms you know, like them and their children and uh, like one 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 child was like oh mom i want hamburger and uh, your uh, like the the mom is like all right all right fine so i was thinking about one thing here i don't like you know i thought ayur is going to bring that up but i didn't see her bring it up but she does imply that is the case what i'm talking about here is like i think i've never seen anya actually ask uh, what do you call it like you know like want something from your like you know like how we saw the kid like you know to her mom was like oh i want hamburger steak and the mom is like all right fine you know these type of things you know um here's the thing you know um anya has been uh, you know anya's past has been very messed up and we've seen how uh, before how anya always tries to kind of you know like listen to other people's mind and try to very much adapt to the situation in the first episode we saw that when she wanted to adapt to um you know lloyd and was very like you know trying to be very friendly and everything so that uh, lloyd doesn't actually leave her so that we saw and uh, like this is the thing you know that's probably one of the biggest reason why anya never actually asks some for something like a normal child like you know like 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 a kid does you know like most kids have a lot of things they want and they always pester their parents about that but not for anya here and i can see that the whole thing with lloyd anya has become a lot um what do you call it uh accustomed to lloyd because we did see her ask lloyd for something in the previous episode only where she said that i want to like you know go to that that bond man place you know like <clears throat> I feel like she was is a lot more comfortable with Lloyd because of the first episode where we saw that happening, you know, that whole section of her getting kidnapped and Lloyd coming in and saving her and all that stuff. I think that made their bond a lot more stronger and Anya can actually like you know ask for something like has that courage to ask something to Lloyd and she kind of does that. Unlike your here who is pretty new to this family and uh, i feel like anna is still trying to 
um, you know, kind of, I don't know, like, you know, kind of get more friendlier with Yor. And that's why she she's still not that comfortable with her. Um, this episode, however, I, I'm pretty sure this episode brought them a lot more closer with the thing that happened after this. So I'm sure it'll take a little bit time, but she, she'll definitely become better, like, you know, friends with Anya and will be able to actually rely on her in the future as well. Um, so yeah, that's just something that I thought, you know, because like, this is mainly because of Anya's past. She always is very reserved. And even though she is a bit open with Lloyd, she, she's still not able to do the same thing with Yor. I think so, at least that's, that's the way I'm kind of seeing this. So it'll take time, you know, and uh, yeah, but, but surely they will reach a position point when Anya will probably, I feel like there'll, a day, a day will come when Anya will be a lot more comfortable with Yor than Lloyd. Because, you know, like both of them, I, I, I feel like they, they, like, you know, Lloyd, uh, not Lloyd, sorry, Yor and um, Anya will have a lot better, I don't know, what can I say, uh, friendship, yeah, friendship. Uh, and like you know she can rely a lot more on your as time goes i feel like that's what's going to happen this whole thing is going to change little by little like obviously she'll be friendly with uh, lloyd but i feel like she she's going to get more friendlier with your as time goes on because you know your your is very what can i say very understanding and uh, very nice in a lot of ways and uh, yeah she, she, she and she herself is so like you know wants to actually be more friendlier with uh, anya so yeah that's going to help Anyways, I, I just thought about it because here, and you know, this this part we kind of see how uh, your thinks your is like, oh, like you know, like I'm I'm I maybe I'm not, like you know, acting like a proper mother, like you know, she thinks about that past situation, how Anya cried when she thought about her past mom, and uh, now another thing we need to think about here is your actually doesn't know about the actual situation, you know. Your actually thinks that Anya had a mom, something happened, they divorced or they died, like, you know, the mom died, something like that. Because that's the story Lloyd is going with. So, yeah, I feel, I feel like, like, you know, uh, Your doesn't, since Your doesn't know the whole story, you know, there are, a, I think she probably thinks that, yeah, maybe she still loves her, like, you know, previous mom and, you know, like, maybe I'm not being able to, you know, provide for her as I can, I should uh so but at the actual situation i'm pretty sure the actual situation is even more sadder than your things because we don't know what happened to her parents anya's parents but there have been hints that it was not good and think something bad happened so yeah anyways um enough about that um so yeah your takes anya to the supermarket and then this random thugs just like ah look at that eden school huh, easy money and they're like you know just praying all these on all on, on them trying to like you know pray on them um anya goes out after shopping anya kind of goes out unfortunately she got caught by this guy these hooligans and uh yeah they're like oh like you know we need we're gonna like we need money we're going to talk to your mom this and that they're threatening her yo comes in punches one of the guys and not punches but knees her it knees him i think or does he punch no knees I think she needs him. Anyways, yeah, he knocks her out. Uh, she knocks him out, and like, <laughs> like, like I was, I was, I was astonished to see how these three didn't even flinch, uh, like in an eyebrow. They saw their friend getting kind of completely pummeled to the ground, and the friend is almost dying. Still, they are continuing their, their whole shenanigan of oh, give me money. You know, like what the hell, dude? You, you just saw your friend died in front of you. Like not died, but you know, like almost died <laughs> in front of you, and you're still like you know continuing this bullcrap. Like wh wh what's wrong with you? Are you are you dumb or something? Like I don't know. But anyways, they they keep they they keep trying to mess with them, and Anya gets uh, not Anya. Yor gets pretty pissed. Completely destroys the pumpkin. And that's when they realize that, yeah, this is not a good idea. Like, yeah, way too late, dude. Like, you should have run away way earlier. As soon as your friend got completely destroyed. You should have run away at then and there. But yeah, these people had to keep on doing the whole thing. But anyways, they realize and they run away. <laughs> and Anya's like, ah, 
really good you're so cool and you're kind of says that you know kind of expresses her insecurities of how whether she's able to be a good mom or something but anya's like ah it's okay kind of pats her on the head <laughs> and she's like yeah you're a cool mom you know i also want to learn how to punch like you because i need to get prepared for eden academy i need you to train me <laughs> So yeah, they go, <laughs> Lloyd comes back home and sees them training for school. <laughs> uh, Alright, the next part of the episode, we see them in the school. And uh, yeah, here Lloyd is thinking about all of the things that uh, Handler told him. And he's like, alright, you know, the, the first plan of Anya being, you know, like being like an exemplary student, that obviously is not going to happen. <laughs> like he's like yeah so <laughs> plan b is going to like you know, i'm going to put my hopes on plan b which is make friends with damian i think that was his name and bring him to their house as a little like you know gathering hangout and that's how he, like, you know they're like you know he's going to make contact with the dad so that was his plan and while he was thinking all of this anya is just listening <laughs> you know like the little mind reading thing is she was doing and uh, okay now they are being you know, kind of separated to different classes and here we see uh lloyd says that oh i already know where she's going to go and she he pulls some strings to you know, you know to make uh, anya join the same class that would have this guy dami damian there you go damian desmond and uh, yeah because obviously you need to be in the same class if you want to make friends with him so that was a uh, like you know like a necessity so <laughs> yeah okay here she he talks about this friendship strategy where they're going to become friends bring him to their house and that's how he's going to meet the dad so anya listens to everything and anya's like all right i'll, I'll try i'll try to be friends with him and Anya gets called. Anya is going there, and he she sees Desmond, and that's Desmond is like, you know, Desmond is kind of thinking, ah, she, she must have fallen in love with me because this is me we are talking about, you know, like obviously that's what's going to happen. And listening to all of that, Anya is like, well, I'm not going to interact with this guy. Just leaves completely. <laughs> And then, the, then this is another kid comes in. Uh, what's her name? It's like, what's her name? Um, the daughter of the CEO of Black Bell, a major military company. Okay, wait, what's her name? I think she. Okay, just a sec. Did did she did she tell her name? I think she told her name. Where, where is it? Becky. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Lloyd is looking at all the students and he's like, oh my God, these people have so much information. Anna needs to be friends with everyone so that I can gain more information on all these, like, you know. <laughs> but Anya doesn't want to be friends with any of them because, you know, they're internal narcissistic tendencies are coming out you know <laughs> wow okay so yeah her name is becky okay so becky thinks about how oh she's so childish i guess i can use her to take care of me and anya's like yeah everyone's just the same she just ignores them and it's nice to see that um oh, what's his name okay i think his name was Henderson, Mr. Henderson. Henderson was not fired. Okay, I guess he was spared from being fired. It seems unfair that the housemaster is in charge of the elementary students. Oh, wait, so, okay, okay. It's unfair that the housemaster is in charge of the elementary students. Okay, that's why. He's, they cannot, all of them are under her, his charge. But he's lucky that he's got the punishment he got. Oh, that's the punishment he got. Okay, 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 I understand now. So, I, I guess he was dem demoted, I guess. That's what happened. All right. But anyways, that works well for us, you know, because Anya is going to be there. And this guy is 
quite nice you know comparing to that douchebag but yeah <laughs> and I, I i saw him he was sitting there you know like that that yeah he's still there my god i will have to tolerate him and henderson looks at anna and he's like all right better keep an eye on them <laughs> uh, while anna is listening to all of them Lloyd kind of kind of thinks about oh Anya best of luck you know like becoming friends with them and Anya's like all right I'll do it so Henderson brings them to like a dining place and uh, everyone's like you know like buttering up Damien and everyone's like Damien is like oh I am the best I'll easily become the uh, the the student or what, what the the imperial student or something I forgot the name. And he's like, ah, oh, I'm the son of the president of National Unity Party. And everyone's like, oh my god, this is so cool. And just, like, you know, kind of flocking around him. And he goes to Anya. And, <laughs> and he's like, oh, what, what, what does your dad do? You know, like, I'll, I'll let you be my friends if I feel you worthy enough. Oh my god. And he, she's like, oh, like a psychiatrist. She, at, at first she was going to say spy, but then she's like, like psychiatrist. And uh, everyone's just bullying her. Like, you know, one, one of the kids kind of push her. Or one of those lackeys of Damien. <laughs> and Anya's thinking about what her mom taught her. Like, what should I do here? And you're taught her to always be like a lady. Always smile off these type of situations. And if you smile, nothing can, like, you know, like bother you. And she smiles, but she cannot smile properly. <laughs> she brings out the smug face. <laughs> Becky's very impressed. Unfortunately, Damien is not. Obviously. <laughs> Damien thinks that he's mocking them or something. But Becky's very is, like, you know, impressed. Becky's like, oh my god, this is so cool. And... Uh, yeah, all of this was happening. Damien is not happy. Damien's like, all right, I'm, I'm going to make your life hell. And when they're going back, you know, like, they're, they keep messing with Anya. And Becky tries to kind of intervene. Unfortunately, they don't care. They, they just keep doing the same thing. And, uh, oh my god, this part was amazing. Ah. Anya is like, all right, what should I do? I should probably ignore them, but yeah, it's, it's impossible. And then she kind of looks at the side, sees if Mr. Henderson is looking, and gives him a straight punch. I really was not expecting that. I, I, you know what, for that, that whole scene really shocked me. I really got, genuinely got shocked. I'm like, what the hell? But then I was like, all right, that was good. <laughs> David starts crying. Anya lies completely. Anya's like, oh, I was just stretching my arms. And, uh, but everyone's like, you know, obviously saying that, oh, like, you know, no, that's not true. And Anya's like, where's the proof? But then Mr. Henderson is like, oh, you should not lie, Anya. And Anya kind of gets a little bit intimidated. She kind of stops. But Becky tries to, like, you know, cover for her. Becky's like, no, these people have been messing with us all the time. And, but the others were like, no, we did not. Like, and it's like kind of quarreling with each other. And Anya thinks of what her mom told her. Her mom told her, like, you should always raise your hands when injustice is being done to, you know, people you love or your friends or something, like, you know, an injustice, like, you know, like a bad situation. You should only raise your hands at that moment. You should only resort to violence then. So Anya is like, what should I do now? And then she's like, all right, I have a plan. She's like, I got mad because, you know, they, <laughs> they, they, uh, like, you know, stepped on Becky's shoes. That's why I got mad and punched them. Becky's like, oh my god, for me, Anya? That's so amazing. You're my best friend. And Trump tries to hug her. <laughs> and Henderson is like, ah, so elegant. Like, you know, standing up for her friends from the, like, you know, the, the beginning day. <laughs> And yeah, all right. And then on the other side, we can see uh, Lloyd becoming like trying to make more connections with all the other parents and everything where he gets called by Mr. Henderson. <laughs> and then Mr. Henderson is like, oh, he, he, she punched someone. That's Desmond's son. And <laughs> Lloyd is like, wow, this is a great start. 
<laughs> and it's nice to see that Dr. Uh, Mr. Henderson uh, said that, all right, like I, she, she would have gotten three uh, tonitos, but I reduced it to one, you know, because she did do a good job, you know, uh, but still it was violence. So yeah, sorry, like, you know, that's all I could do, but that's good. You know, like he, he was, he helped Anya out here. Like, this is what I was saying, you know, like Anya needs some help. And uh, if, if Mr. Henderson was fired off, it would have been a problem. And there you go. You can see Mr. Henderson is helping them out. So, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, then, and Lloyd is thinking, oh my God, the friendship strategy is completely destroyed. We cannot go in that direction. And then there's like that photographs section where everyone's just standing there. You know what? Let me see if I can find Lo uh, Desmond here. I wonder what, like, you know, Desmond's parents didn't come, so where is he? I cannot find him. So yeah, like, is he, like, standing all alone or something? Probably. That's kind of sad in a way, you know, because, yeah. Anyways, uh, Lloyd, Anya, they're, like, standing. <laughs> Lloyd has completely been destroyed, and Lior is covering her face because of shame, and Anya is just... Anya is just devastated. She doesn't know what to do. So yeah, that, that was a fantastic uh, school photograph. <laughs> so yeah, good job. Like, you know, minus 100 relationship points with Desmond. <laughs> and friendship strategy completely destroyed. Now, um, now, I think, you know, like what I'm going to say here is like the whole thing with Desmond, I've, I've said this before as well. Children are like um, a complete blank slate. They grow up as they see how, how their surroundings are, you know, and their surrounding environments, their parents, whatever they teach a child, that's how they grow up, you know. That's how the surroundings and everything plays an important role uh, on a child. That's how they become and gain the personality that they get. So, Desmond here, he is in that stage. He's a blank slate here. So, you know, like his surroundings is going to make the person that he will be in the future. So I don't know, like, you know, like he, he does seem a little bit of, a, you know, brat, but, you know, like you, you cannot blame him. All children are brat at that age, you know, like, you know, it's a very exception, a few exception, the exception occurs when the students is children who are very nice, very calm, very, you know, like, um, yeah, like very patient. But most 70, 80, 90 percent of children act like this when they're children. So that's basically it. And, and we can see he, he probably is like, you know, most of the time, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's probably all alone. Her parents, his parents doesn't come home. And, uh, you know, like, it's all, like even in the, in the, in the, like, you know, the first day of school, they're not here, which shows us a lot of how his family life is going. You know, like he probably goes back home all alone. There's like five to ten maids and butlers just waiting for him. Just, you know, like and like everyone's like calling him master and you know like gives him stuff and like you know what do you call it just gives him whatever he wants pampers him and his parents probably come home i don't know like probably once a month and uh, that's the situation i'm pretty sure of so him acting like that doesn't surprise me and uh, yeah i don't know maybe who knows maybe by interacting with all these students here you know, and uh, like Anya is also here, maybe interacting with Anya will actually change him and uh, make him a, a, a decent person. So we'll have to wait for that. But yeah, th that's what I'm saying, you know, like, as I said, I, I feel sad for him in a way, because even in the first day of school, his parents are not here. So imagine what goes through his head. He, he probably never even got to spend enough time with his parents. And that's why he's like this. His, his maids and butlers probably just pampers him. And he thinks like she, he can get away with anything and everything. So yeah, that's, that's the situation here. So, and as, as I said, you know, like environment, your environment makes you the person who is. The environment here in this school, uh, there's a lot of his bootlickers. We can see that, you know, people who is just buttering him up. But at the same time, there are people like Becky and Anya, who I'm pretty sure will be a positive influence on him. And uh, yeah, we'll see about that. We'll have to wait for how he grows up to be a person to be as a person so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to spy family episode number six if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out
and uh, yeah that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of spy family until then goodbye and have a nice day